Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. I hope you guys can see this whole board. I'm trying to make sure you can, uh, but here we go. The uh, power of seven or compound effect. It, depending on what you want to name it, these are the seven things I need to do daily in order to consider my day full, done, completed, check off. And I'm a very kind of like social director, like, oh, whatever I want to do, let's go have fun person. But if I get these seven done, ah, I feel good and then I can go party, right? Okay, so here we go. Power seven, compound day. One, work out. Now, everybody's different. I could walk around the neighborhood for an hour. I feel like, whoo, I did my thing, okay? So, two, read or audible, listen to the Bible or personal development. 30 minutes each. Sometimes I do 40, uh, <coughs> 40, 20, you know, 40 Bible, 20 minutes personal development. It depends on how far I am in a book. Uh, depends on what chapter I'm on. It, you know, I dedicate an hour to this because I feel like getting some scripture in me, great. Getting some personal development will kind of push me towards business and creative energy and thinking. Awesome. Okay. So three and four. I blog and video. I do as much video as I can, as you can tell, when I can. Help folks out, return messages. I even do client emails and client calls this way. Sometimes the client is like, hey, explain it to me. Not over the phone, not over an email, and I'll just do a video. So that helps and blog for an hour. You know, I have to check my grammar and all the good stuff. So these activities by themselves could take my morning. If, it depends on when you get up. Some people get up earlier than me, okay? So um, 8 to 12, 8 to noon. Then I take a break and some lunch probably, you know? But uh, it could also be 1 to 4 in the afternoon. It's, it's your choice, however you need it to go. But it's, I tell you, if you start earlier with the workout and the reading of this Bible, everything else goes smooth because it's really hard to get those squeezed into your day. All right, next, I mark it. I'm put a line on that. Mark it, mark it, mark it. And what do I mean by market? Uh, property management office, we send out letters. Um, real estate investing, we send out letters. Just about everything, we send out letters. Check with our clients, see if there's possible opportunity for new clients. We make calls, cold calls people for some of the other companies I've been. Facebook, YouTube advertising. I check on the advertising, I check on if I got messages. I check on YouTube answers. I also send out emails. These things are all a part of marketing for two hours. I make sure I make that a full two hours, sometimes three. Then follow up. I need to be going through my email, checking up, check the phone. People, this is the number one for me. If you're a real estate agent in Austin, Texas, and I leave you a message or I refer someone to you, you don't answer your phone, you suck, period, okay? Or you don't touch back in a 72 hour period, you suck. All right, so follow up, touch back, look at PL. Now, this is for business folks, but look, it, let's just say you're a regular old person. Let's say what revenue came in today, what went out, right? We could do that. For you, you might do it better on a weekly basis. You know, how much did I make this week? How much is coming out? Commission, sales people know what I'm talking about. It's very important to do. Kind of keeps you back into that loop. It makes you, you go, whew, we ain't closed the deal in a month. We're going to get on the market. We're going to get some letters, some phone calls, some YouTube, some emails, whatever it takes to get us in that loop, okay? Uh, seven, this is important for me to close out my day. Makes me feel like my day is finished and full. Family and friends connect one hour to three hours. Some of you will say, three hours, Erica? Listen, if you're married, you have kids, you are going to have to connect from five to when they go to bed. So you know what I'm trying to say here, okay? So happy hours, dinners at my house, dinners on Sunday after brunch, events, FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? You got to have FaceTime with people and show them that care. I'm concerned. I want to stay connected in their life. I want them to stay connected in mine. These things have done in this order. Now you may have a different order. For you, this may just be work. Going to work. Three and four may be at work and be nice at work. It, it depends on you. It depends on who you are. But these are for most most people. Power of seven. Market letters, calls, emails. Let's say you're a person. You only need four of these. Work out. Read. Um, go to work for. Be nice to your family. You know what I mean? You could do that as well. But this is just the way I rolled it out so you can see, you know, I can start at 8 and be done by 8. Uh, I could start a little later. Sometimes the video and the blogging may be shorter. But these two are concrete. Takes takes no time to get around the neighborhood and walk around the neighborhood for an hour. No time. So, you guys, this is Erica. Classic Climb Blog, The Compound Effect. You know, what your life looks like as a result of daily continuous small actions and the result of those. So you guys have an awesome day.